Hey, hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just doing a grocery haul. Um, I went to Walmart and Market Basket and we were just kind of stocking up on snacks and some dinners and yeah, so let me just show you all what I got. So I just got back from Walmart. Everything here was $200. Um, it's just kind of a stock up. We noticed that we're just kind of out of pretty much everything. Um, we got a couple of random items there. and So yeah, um, I guess I'll just start with the randoms to get those out of the way. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried kombucha, but this is my favorite brand and my favorite flavor. It's like really tart, um, but I really like that about drinks. I like when they're like kind of sweet and sour, um, and it's really, really good, and it's super good for you. Um, and then I got, we were out of vitamins, so I got my vitamins, which are really good. They don't, I like this brand, Hello Bello. Um, they don't have a lot of uh, like gelatin, which is kind of a gross thing if you ever looked up gelatin before. But yeah, they're really good. And then I got the kids theirs. They kind of complain about the um, the texture sometimes because they don't have the gelatin. So they're not like a fruit snack. They're like, I mean, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about unless you've had them before, but it's not like gross at all. They're just used to the fruit snacks. Um, and then I got the lavender bubble bath, which makes really good bubbles and their skin is so soft after. And then this one is my favorite scent, the vanilla apricot. Um, and that's like, I'll use it for a bubble bath sometimes just so it's easier, but it's a shampoo. Um, and then I saw these, my nine year old always needs a straw in his drink, um, no matter what. So I decided to get these and give them a try. We just have like hard plastic ones, metal ones, and then some bamboo ones. So I thought, Grove. I like them. He thinks it's weird because some of them are like bigger than others. Like this one's really big so he doesn't like the feeling of it and he will rarely use a metal one. So I got those and then for produce I got some zucchini which I love but all they had were these like really limp little sad little ones so I just got two. Um, and then I got a whole thing of strawberries because my three-year-old loves them and they're super good. So I'll cut them up and wash them and stick them in a container and he'll just snack on them. Um, I got avocados because they're good on pretty much everything. Um, these ones are not even close to being ready to eat. So got to hold off on that. We got some bananas. Um, these tomatoes are the best tomatoes. I've tried a lot of different ones that like the little tiny ones, but these are by far my favorite. Um, they're just so so good I don't even know how to describe it like if you've had these do you guys like this brand as well um, and then we also got blueberries which my toddler also really loves and they're a super good snack especially when it's hot out which it's really nice out today um, then I got a bag of lemons because I noticed yesterday when I was going to get one that we don't have any so I got some of those and Macintosh apples are the only ones that the kids will eat without complaining so we always get Macintosh. Um, lemonade, Crystal Light, this is for John. Um, I usually just drink water or sometimes if I'm super thirsty I'll have like a sip of apple juice or something but usually it's water for me. Um, kids love raisins, I don't know, you can get the bag and stuff but then they're all stuck together so we get the little boxes. Um, we usually, this is our favorite kind of popcorn, the movie theater butter. But this time I got the mini bags because they're snack size because sometimes not everybody wants popcorn and then you have a whole bag and then a lot of it ends up in the trash. So I got those this time. 
They did not have name brand Nutella. I have never had the Walmart brand before, so we're gonna give that a try. My son saw a little dessert he saw them make. It's like, um, you cut the crust off the bread and then you add the Nutella, you roll it up and you dip it in butter and like cook it and then put like cinnamon sugar on it. And it, I mean, it looked really good. He wanted to make that, so I needed to get some Nutella. The kids wanted to make your own pizza for dinner. So they did not have the usual pizza sauce that we get. So again, we've got Walmart brand, so we'll see how that goes. And these are the pizza crusts that we get. Sometimes we get Boboli, but a lot of times we just get these. They're really good, they're super easy. These are the mini ones, and then this is the big one. The mini one you get three, and in this one you get two. some pasta sauce because we have a lot of pasta so it's a good thing to just have um, in stock this one is super super good and I love to keep the jars because how cute does that look I already have a couple and they have like good measurements on the side anyway this I get because my nine-year-old who's they're all super picky about their food but he smelled me cooking this and he was like oh I want some of that so I made sure to get that every time and I never get two of the same I always get a mix I usually always get a cheese kind because it tastes good like mixed together rather than just one flavor and I always add different spices anyway um, they love their mini ravioli's super good for you I know but it's one of those things that you just have on hand for when they just want something that's not good for them such as the devil dogs because quarantine life um, we got the little packs of Pringles so that nobody sits there and eats the entire can. The boys wanted this cereal today. I'm kind of against chocolate cereal, but what are you going to do? We got two bags of, is it called donuts? Or donut, donuts, I think. Anyway, powdered donuts. Um, Rice Krispie treats. Um, Chips Ahoy cookies and Double Stuff Oreos because I love those. <laughs> like I said, a lot of this is just stuff that we were out of and it's good to just have, I mean I know they're not good for you snacks, but it's good to have stuff like that when the kids are hungry and wanting a snack. Um, we just recently tried these and the kids love them. The brownie, we usually just get the chocolate chip ones. I like the chocolate chip ones because they taste um, they taste a little bit like coconut to me, so those are my favorite, but the kids like these. And then I got these. I usually get the bar kind, but they didn't have them, so I got the little, these are Nature Valley granola cups, and they're so good. It tastes like a Reese's. Um, and then we got two kinds of fruit snacks, because everybody eats those, and they just seem like they're always disappearing. Um, we got milk aluminum foil we got these the kids love these sometimes um, Mason he'll eat or drink two or three of them at once and then we got these yogurt Chobani is my favorite yogurt um, I also like the wee yogurt like it's the French glass jar kind but the baby he'll grab one of these out of the fridge and he'll just sit down and eat the whole thing and they're really good they're actually really good if you put chocolate chips and sliced almonds in it because there's already coconut in it and that's just a really good grown-up snack. Um, hot dogs, I know they're not really in a meat class but they're just something to have when the kids can't decide what they want to eat or if we're going to cook on the grill or something. Um, we got feta cheese because I put it on pretty much everything from a salad to a sandwich to like a rice bowl. It's just really good. And then we got two of these for the pizzas when we make our pizza and just for whatever's left over will be used for salad or anything else um, we got a fruit punch and an apple juice pepperoni also for the pizza we got butter or I can't believe it's not butter because it's not really butter it's a butter substitute string cheese super easy snack and then the last category is the frozen food I got these for me 
because they're so good. I love buffalo chicken and these are really, really good as a sandwich or like as a hamburger kind of thing. Or I um, like to cut them up and I'll put them in a salad with my homemade um, honey Dijon salad dressing and it is amazing. And of course with feta cheese. Um, my kids practically are made of waffles um, and they've really been liking the chocolate chip ones. Sometimes they get the little... Um, they're like the little, it's like four waffles on one waffle, like the little mini ones, like the maple syrup kind. They like those too. And the Totina's pizza rolls. We call them pizza pillows here. We got some broccoli and tater tots. So yeah, that's what I got. Everything was $200. So it was just kind of like a stock up of like, random stuff and stuff that we needed stuff to just have on hand and then we're going to go either later today or first thing in the morning because the market basket here had a line down the street practically to get in what babe we're not going to see yet okay so um we're gonna go probably first thing in the morning to get some meat like hamburger chicken steak that kind of thing so yeah do you guys get any i'm holding on they care okay well look um, do you guys get anything similar? Do you guys recommend other snacks that are good for kids that maybe aren't junk food? <laughs> Super picky eaters here. All right. what I just got for Market Basket. Um, just a couple meats and a few things that we got to make for dinner. Um, I got some more bagels because everybody loves bagels. Um, and then I got some of this. Usually I get the pink one because I don't wear waterproof anything, but they didn't have it so I got this one instead. Um, and then we're going to be making, well I guess I got bacon. Um, I don't really like bacon that much, but everybody else loves it, so I got that. And they happen to have toilet paper here, so I got some of that. And then, so we're going to be making boneless chicken tenders, buffalo for John and I, and then just regular chicken tenders for the kids. Um, so for that I got our favorite buffalo sauce. Sometimes we use the Texas Pete but our market basket doesn't carry it, and that's where I went, so I got the Red Hot, and it's really good. I even, I'll sometimes get the one, it says, um, it's hot buffalo, and it's got like a black label, and that one's really good too, if you can handle it. <laughs> um, we got oil for frying those, and blue cheese to dip. Um, and then I got some crushed hots because I was all out and I like to add this on random things here and there so I made sure I get a jar because a lot of stores don't carry it and I know Market Basket does so when they have it I get it um, and then so we're going to be making steak tips and potato salad so I got two packs of steak tips to marinate in my special marinade which I will I think I'm gonna make a cook with me to show you guys how I make it because it's so delicious. Um, so I got barbecue sauce. I usually like the, um, I don't even know what it is. It's like a whiskey brand barbecue sauce. I forget the name of it, but they don't have it at Market Basket. They just have this. So I got that and then I'm making potato salad. So we needed mayo for that, olives, and then everything else we had. I just got pickles because everybody likes pickles. Um, and then I got a watermelon because it looked really, really good seeing them cut up in the store and I thought the kids would enjoy it. So yeah, that's just what I got at Market Basket this morning. I had to wait in line for like five minutes. It wasn't bad. Um, 
But yeah, I will. I think the total for all of this was 71. <clears throat> I want to say, and most of that was because of the meat. Oh, I got the onion for the potato salad too. Um, so yeah, I will um, get all this put away, and then I'm gonna start marinating the steak tips and get cooking the potato salad. Of course, you need potatoes and all that, but we had everything else. So, like I said, I'll make a cook with me so you guys can see everything that I put in that, and it's really, really delicious. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start making some dinner and I will post that later on in another video so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when that posts. And I hope you guys are staying safe and eating as healthy as we are. And thanks for watching.